the reason why general liberty lovers, uh, conservatives and libertarians uh, are so strong on this issue is because they believe in the right to life. And you know what, that goes uh, for everybody in the modern Western world practically, except for psychopaths that go on serial murders and so on and so forth. But um, because of the right to life, that is why that we believe that abortion in, as a general rule, should not be allowed. Um, and uh, the question then, I mean, you, you believe in the right to life for uh, late term, uh, late term fetuses. And what we believe is that fetuses right to life should not be overruled by the mother's bodily autonomy. Um, because, uh, again, the fetus, where... the fetus has not committed anything wrong. They haven't contributed in any way to invade in on the mother's bodily autonomy. The, oh, they haven't committed any act at all. So They're not human yet. They're a parasite. The question is, then, at what point do you consider them human? And again, for you, that's, that's 20 weeks. Uh, I would say about 24. I, I want a nice, fully formed brain. Okay, well, you, you said... Uh, oh, 20, 24 no. weeks, fine, fuck it. At least, here's the thing. You guys, you just said you want eight. You want like an eight-week limit. Eight or not. Yeah, when the, the woman waves, probably uh, doesn't even know she's fucking pregnant. So again, you have just overruled her, her, her freedom to choose... Because she dare get pregnant. And again, a lot of these girls are going to be teenagers. A lot of these girls are going to be in their 20s. Because, again, you're young and dumb. You do stupid things. You don't think. What in the hell is your guys' response going to be to, again, a shit ton more babies being born? A shit ton more unwanted babies being born, being left on the doorsteps of hospitals and and fire uh, uh, houses. Um, a, a shit ton of young girls found dead in alleyways with coat hangers up their twats or due to dirty back alley abortionists. Because here's the thing. You outlaw something, you actually don't stop it. The sad fact of the matter is every time the United States has tried to ban a behavior... It has failed miserably. We have banned murder, and it still fucking happens. Furthermore, your solutions suck. The adoption option is a fucking joke. It's a damn... I, I, I am getting to the point of just calling it a fucking lie. Can I talk now? Yeah, go for it. Sorry, I went on a tangent, but... So... The point is not to completely eliminate abortions because obviously they are still going to happen. The idea is to try and decrease them overall. And you mentioned, you always mentioned the whole. What? How do you do that outside of some religious morality argument that says sex is something that's sacred? It's dude, not. Dude, I haven't been playing the religion card and I, I told know you that I wasn't but, going to play but it. Sex creates. Sex creates babies. In my worldview, sex is something fun. If you create a baby, go to the clinic, get rid of it, and everything's cool. Again, it's the right to life. That is the metric that I am going off of. And you repeatedly mentioned the coat hangers. Like, where are you getting the statistic that coat uh, that coat hanger abortions and mothers will die? Uh, mothers dying because from that's what happened before. Roe v. Wade was legalized. You would have women dead in high school bathrooms, high, in alleyways, with coat hanger abortions. What I have researched this, is that uh, it, it, it was like around 300 a year. So their 300 Coating lives are worthless and meaningless because they dared abort your precious fetus. And over 1 million fetuses are worthless, like... Uh, compare 300 to 1 million like 300 people with a functioning brain a life and a consciousness versus 300 meatballs that don't have any of those things yes i'll take the 300 oh and they're not they're, they're not all meatballs i, I mean uh, <laughs> I, I mean again I, i'm not saying you're not also con you're not also con counting I'm babies in dumpsters babies abandoned abused babies oh by the way child abuse will start skyrocketing 
again, this is why it was legalized. To stop all this shit. To maybe state that, hey, we shouldn't be overrun with kids nobody fucking wants. Cons considering of uh, how that uh, uh, coat hanger abortions were, uh, or uh, I, I don't know the proper way to term it, but um, uh, women dying from coat hanger abortions or just coat hanger abortions in general was like statistically practically non-existent before Roe v. Wade. I am uh, unconvinced that they would scour rocket if it was uh, illegal again. Um, so there's a little uh, highlight right here that I, in my research, the most this from early pregnancy tests dot com. That is literally a website. The most sensitive pregnancy test can detect HCG levels that as low as 20 MIU. This level of HCG is present in the urine of pregnant women at about seven to 10 days past ovulation. Okay. This is this is pretty early. So assume assume also okay. So if a woman gets a little itty bitty shitty period, she might not think of it, and according to you, by the time she might know something's up, she's fucked. Seven weeks is not enough time. Wait, seven weeks is not enough time to get an abortion? Sorry, I'm no. here. When do you think you start to show anyway? Um, I just read the, I just read the, um, source right there that said it could, um, happen as early as 10 days after ovulation. What source is that? Um, I just, now I just read it on the thing. It was, the... it was called, it was called, um, uh, uh, okay, um, I think it was morning after pill that I was researching. Hold on. That's not birth control. The, does the morning after pill, or no, it's not what I was researching. How early do women test for? How, how's this? Or, how's this? How about we? How about we establish? Okay, this? S seven to ten days. That was how early that uh, they can test on pregnancy tests. They this can is coming test. from. Nobody this is. They know they're hey, fucking hey, pregnant. Hey, 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 calm down. Can I finish my point? Calm <sighs> down. Like I, I know that you, you have this whole persona of yelling and shouting all the time, but geez. And the source uh, is called early pregnancy tests, as you were asking me to cite it just. Uh, a few minutes ago. Okay. Now, I'm sorry I yelled. I'm sorry I lost my temper. You know, your, 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 your time frame is ludicrous. And again, I do not get where you get off calling yourself a libertarian, but I just somehow, so, somehow, well, I'm sorry, but I'm not, I'm not accepting this leap in logic where, you, you, you can tell a woman that she has no right to her bodily autonomy because there's a 12-week-old meatball in there. Um, I don't... It's not shaped uh, like a meatball. Like, I've uh, seen footage at least at 12 hey. weeks. It doesn't, doesn't look uh, like a meatball to me. It does to me. It's a meatball. Well, you must have some very weird-ass meatballs in your spaghetti, then. <laughs> okay, well, it... 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 It's it has no legs, has no arms, has no uh, eyes, has no. nothing, uh, and no. can't survive outside of its mom's womb. It's a meatball. No, if I were to rip I'm it gonna... out, it would be it would be thrown in a pot of marinara sauce. Oh fuck! Uh, let me try and find the footage because I downloaded this a while ago. Like the I've footage was literally of twelve it. weeks, twelve weeks conceived, and it was squirming around with a. Uh, a, a develop a, a set of developed arms and legs and a moving head and so on and so forth. Yeah, in the so mom's womb. What you said that what what you said there was about it not having arms and legs was false. About twelve okay. weeks, anyways. Still a meatball doesn't have a brain. It's <laughs> Again, if we want to get on this thing, brain waves, man. Oh my god! Fine. And we now ha we don't even have a viable embryo yet. I haven't even brought it to that point. I'm still about three weeks away, actually, from I think the record. Okay, if if you want to go off of a how that an unborn fetus, for example, cannot at, at some certain point, like before twenty weeks, twenty four weeks, whatever is the earliest that they can survive, uh, being early birth. Um, if you want to go off of the metric that they cannot survive without the uh, 
the natural life support of their own mother's womb. Well, I, I, that to me seems like a very, very bad metric because there are people who end up in the hospital who end up reliant on a pacer and a breathalyzer and so on and so forth. That does not make them less viable to the right to life than the, the fully healthy 25-year-old. You're talking about a vital organ you need to live and quite frankly the thing that begins and ends us versus what? versus a lung not being fully formed and lord knows i should know i came and my lungs weren't fully formed but my brain was wait when when somebody is on a breathalyzer or pacer it's fully functioning. I mean, I would think that if an organ was fully functioning, that they would not need any artificial backup or support. Well, some our organs aren't quite as important as others. That's why you can get your appendix removed, a kidney removed, part of your lung removed. Or, well, actually, yeah, part of your lung removed, uh, part of your liver removed. Again, stay focused on what is fully essential for life, like breathalyzers and pacers for the brain. heart and lung and so on and so forth. Your fucking brain. If it is materialized, you're alive. Okay, well, uh, um, I was just trying to respond to the point that you mentioned earlier about, uh, how, or at least insinuating of uh, how uh, fetuses at some certain points within the cutoff date or my preferred cutoff date yeah, aren't okay. able to survive outside the womb. That was the point that I was trying to attack. I, I mean, was okay. it okay? Well, let's, the let's be honest. No, okay. Furthermore, okay. Yeah. Let, let's say uh, somebody is dying. They're fucked. We we can't we can't fix them. Do we get to euthanize them? We get to euthanize them. We we can't fix them. Like how long do they get to? Uh, live? Let's say. Well, how about I go in increasing intervals? Let, let's find your cutoff point for that. One month. Um. Well, Thirty actually, days. I I got. Actually, okay. no. I'll I'll say I'll say, I'll say no. Because in the one month. I, no. Okay. I, I mean, I, if they want to, like, uh, try and live the rest of their 30 days to try and uh, make good with their family and uh, say their goodbyes, get their bucket list out of the way, well, then I don't think that a fellow human being has a you right are to also that aware away. that you, you are also aware that within that 30 days, they're probably going to be bl brought to blinding, excruciating, torturous pain. And I say if they themselves want to die, well, then uh, uh, definitely, I, I don't know. I'm not, com I'm not completely against, oh, I was about to say assisted suicide, but no, I'm just going to say it outright. Suicide allowed. No one has the right to take your own life except for yourself. That's the way that I look at it. So suicide's fine. Abortion, uh, no. Yeah, because I, that's I one person this, killing. That's argument. one per. That's one person killing another person. One that's person one killing. Person one person. One person. Hey, can I? Can fucking... I? Can I finish my Go point? Ahead. That's one person taking another person's <laughs> right to life. But in the case of suicide, that's nobody, that's no second or third party taking away a person's right to life. That's just and a person then, taking their own life. And I said, you're also fine with the death penalty. Jeez. I don't, I don't see how sorry, you but these two things are actually diametrically opposed. It, you can't say. I don't see say how you're holding on so tight you, over this the, false why are you, moral why equivalency. Are you holding, why are you holding so tight to the idea that this fetus is this sacred innocent life that must be protected at all costs meanwhile this guy did x so his life is forfeit either life is sacred or it's not apparently that person did not that, that, fucking... that person did not think that uh life was sacred and i do not know if that but person we are supposed would to be commit... better than that person we are supposed to be better than him we are supposed to say we are better than you 
So yeah, and, we will uh, we will kill you in a humane fashion. Okay. Wait. What? Either what? I said you, you, you said it, it, it sounded like that you said that we're supposed to be better than them. Uh, so we will ki uh, kill them. Yeah, that's the death penalty. We're gonna kill them, but we're gonna do it in a humane, painless fashion. Okay. Yeah. Fine. I mean, make it uh, make it painless for all I care. <laughs> okay, but we have also the point was with this. Got. We but with also we have said your you know this again. I I find this odd that you that you that you value this this fetus that that doesn't even have a fucking brain yet so much, and yet this is a brain actual wasted. human being. And you're just fine with me saying fuck it as long as we do it humanely. <sighs> now, again, if it was up to me, depending so, on the crime, um, I would tie him to a post and set him on fire. So when uh, brain waves are detected, that is not a sign of a brain? <sighs> again. A... Again, if you're going to go with the brainwave argument, you're a murderer for eating chicken. Oh, dude, we're, we're constantly running in circles. I tried well, to... Well, you I keep constantly making this ridiculous fucking argument. I, uh, I, I like, keep what on... do you want me to respond to? I mean, what? Like, at that point, at seven weeks, their skull isn't fucking formed. I've addressed to you the whole veganism uh, thing and how I stand and society currently stands. Like society, how the way that society at least currently stands is that humans, not animals in civilization, have the right to life. I mean, yes, to a certain okay. extent, you, you don't, you're not allowed to kill somebody else's dog or cat, but technically that falls under the person's uh, private property. And if you kill uh, them, actually you're... Committing no, a crime by invading on their wrong. own private property. You're Sorry. wrong. Um, I, I'm going to assume you've never hunted before, have you? Um, actually, no. Okay. Sorry to disappoint. Um, there are a few animals that don't have a season, have no limits. Um, and these animals are considered pests because they're very good at surviving. However... Uh, in again, I just want to speak from my state. I don't know the the laws and regulations in other states. I'll just speak from Minnesota. In Minnesota, you are allowed to kill one deer for the year. For moose, it is one shot. And what I mean by that is you get one hunt once in your life. You have one shot to kill a moose, but that Black one, bit. but that one prey did not have a right to life, and so therefore you're not going to jail for it. So you're against hunting? No, that's not what I said. You said that one prey did not have a right to life, so therefore you're going to jail for it. No, I I said. And so you're not oh, going okay. to jail. You're okay. not going to jail for it. Okay, I, I, you said that you know we can just kill animals willy nilly. Well, no, of course okay. we can't. M maybe we have we have restrictions in place. The reason same why as I was same as I want to put on an abortion. Mine are just reasonable. The the, the reason why, at least to, to my understanding, as to why people have these um. Laws around animals is because one, either they're house pets, either we want to preserve the species long enough so that we can continue hunting them like deers and so on and so forth, or C, because we have some material value to them, to, to them just because we like to look at them. And not because technically they have the same inalienable right to life as a human being does, as an innocent human being does. That's my understanding as to why we legislate on that. Not because of veganism. Once the brain is in the skull, it has flesh, it's there, 
And that's at about, I think, 24 weeks. Um, yeah, she's fucked. I could maybe even scale it back to 23, 22, maybe 21. But yeah, I've given her, you know, I, I, we can, we can quibble over 24 or 21. Before that, that fucking thing doesn't have a brain. Who gives a shit? Uh, has a has a bit of one for when we can start I detecting. Can, I, I can you make this argument? I mean, you're 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 arguing that the brain. A needs chicken to... has a bit of human brain in it. Everything what? does. A chicken has a bit of human brain in it. If I was to yeah, like, t- if I was to like take a scalpel on brain. a chicken brain and I gun it through a DNA testing, I'm going to detect human DNA. Not human fuck? DNA, but you're going to te- you're going well, to I detect, do not s- <laughs> you're going to detect base patterns. I, I don't see why you Between call a chicken, chicken is a human brain. Then, oh my god, like you, you are going to detect base patterns, okay? And yeah, they're going to be the same for a chicken as a human. Not many, but there's going to be a few. So. But, w- w- what you're saying uh, throughout this whole debate. I don't, get, I don't uh, get why, why a, a girl down in Mississippi who's terrified to reveal to her family that she's pregnant can't just go get an abortion because you think the fucking fetus doesn't have the brain that can come to that rationalist decision has the same right to life that I do. You're... Sort of denying biology when you constantly say it doesn't have a brain. I mean, if you want to talk oh about before, God. if you want to talk oh about, if you want to talk God. about before seven weeks of conception, well then fine. No, I'm, I'm not going to fucking talk yeah. about that because if you want to talk about brain activity, then we're going to talk about degrees of brain activity. Okay, again, before the brain is fully formed, she's at a chimps level. But we experiment and kill them all the fucking time. Uh, and I say that if uh, if it's because that they are at a lower uh, level of brain activity, the, the fetus. So and a that's chimp, just, and that's so, just, so a and chimp, that's a, hey, hey, can I can I see my point? Hey, human hey, DNA. Hey, hey, shut up! God, you made me lose my uh, th- uh, train of thought there. Thanks. Um. It, it, Okay, if you are going to say that it is all right to kill a fetus because of lower human brain activity, well, then I would say then by that logic, is it all right to kill a fresh newborn because they have like a, a smaller amount of brain activity in comparison to that of a 25-year-old? No, the newborn's been born. It's good. I'm talking about killing it before it gets born. And quite frankly, So you're not for late terms all of a sudden. You're not for late terms all of a sudden. Not once it's been born. And I think my stance is perfectly reasonable about 25 weeks. Well, well, you said that you were talking about killing it before it's born. Also, again, you have another argument problem. You agree with me that we should have the death penalty. I've already addressed that. But when does life stop becoming sacred? When you start invading why, why other is people's the mur- life. Why is the murderer? Why is the murderer's life not sacred anymore? You know, again. I said, but, uh, any, can I can I address that? Hey, can I can I can I please address that? All right. When they invade on other people's right to life okay the fetus is maybe very well the fetus is actually invading on the mother's right to life she can't um, do um there was she no cannot do, no um uh, a woman who is having a child has to basically completely rearrange her life She's got to eat special food. She's got to be on a special diet. She can't have coffee. She can't have alcohol. She can't have soda. 
there's a lot of shit that goes on. And yet, yet she still lives. I mean, when, when I say right to life, oh I'm meaning God. the right to, okay, to so live we, that the people cannot take well, away. Why doesn't the pregnant? Why doesn't why doesn't the killer have the right to life? We could just regulate his life like that. Because he killed another oh life. Oh my God! I, I mean, I mean, you're, you're comparing. You're comparing. No, like a person, no. What I'm saying hey, is, what I'm saying is. You can't sit there and say that guy's life is worthless, that guy's life is forfeit, and then force another human being who's done nothing wrong to say, you must carry this life, you must change your whole life, you must change every way, everything you do with your life for this life. Also, you're making, what, if you're the mom, what, if the mom, what if the mom's an alcoholic? What if she's not going to give up drinking? What if the what if the mom learns she's pregnant? She she tells the doctor, and Jeez. then tells your government body, you know what? Fuck it, I'm not going to give up drinking. So now she's affecting a second party at that point. And if I can, you, you, are, if, if I can address an earlier argument, you're you're comparing like a life that is like indirectly. When I say indirectly, I mean like uh, un well unintentionally. I'll use that word instead. You're comparing uh, somebody I, who, like, unintentionally. It, can I please have the floor for here for a bit? It's giving you plenty of time to talk within the past ten minutes or something like that. With only a anyway, um, you're you're comparing like a life that has unintentionally caused somebody to rearrange their own life to preserve their right to life. You're comparing that to somebody who takes away another person's life entirely. Th those are not equivalent. So let me get this straight. You're 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 trying to say that I'm equating somebody who takes somebody's life away artificially versus what was the last thing you said? I said you're comparing. Somebody who unintentionally causes second party to rearrange their own life to somebody who intentionally prevents a person from living altogether. And you're going to stand there and tell me that a woman who's pregnant and going to give a baby under your rules doesn't have to rearrange her entire she fucking doesn't have to life. What? She doesn't have to rearrange her entire fucking life. No, I, I have a simple I solution. Say, I didn't say that you she just doesn't. said that. No, no, that's not what. I, no, that's not what I said. How doesn't said, she have to rearrange her life? No, man. What I said was, you're comparing somebody who unintentionally causes oh second God. party, the mother, to have to arrange, rearrange her life so that first party, the fetus, can continue to survive. You're comparing that instance to somebody who completely takes away another person's life altogether. I mean, I'm not. I'm not saying at all the that party, they don't, I don't. I'm not. I'm not, party, hey, I'm not. Hey, I'm not saying at all that they don't have that they absolutely don't have to rearrange their own life i mean obviously they will in order to preserve the second party that is like connected to them yeah well the second party is the fetus i mean and that's not yeah. actually the way you you, you phrased it before yeah and, and the way it. she was before wasn't caused by that <sighs> second party the way that she was before wasn't um, wasn't violated by that second party. You know, much less intentionally. Okay, let's say let's say I surrender. What? Let, let's say I surrender, and we we go with your vision. 